Procrastination is the thief of time. That's from an email I wrote more than a year ago about the time I was just starting to do podcasts. And I thought what I would do is read that email because I think it's so important during these times. So the subject of that email was procrastination is the thief of time and how to conquer it. So let's get on to what I wrote back then. It's Monday and I'm being reminded of the importance of this message a lot recently. Still am today. Not too long ago I was asked why do people procrastinate and how do we stop procrastinating? What a great question. First, let's read that subject line again. Procrastination is the thief of time. That thought is scary to me, and I bet it is to you as well. There are a lot of reasons why people procrastinate, but they all pretty much boil down to three. One, fear. Two, a lack of a burning desire. And three, perfectionism. The first reason is fear. Fear is tied to self-image. Take doing a Facebook Live video. Many people think, my video won't be good enough, and what if I mess it up and embarrass myself? I think I thought that, or I did think that way when I did my first one. And some of the best advice I ever got was, heck, nobody will be watching your videos in the beginning anyway, so what are you afraid of? Which was a great point. Like most things in life, the anticipation is far worse than the actual event, period. Mark Twain was right. Do the thing you fear most and the death of fear is certain. The second reason is the lack of a burning desire. Or simply put, it just isn't important enough to you. Think about when your smoke detector goes off. Is procrastination an issue? I doubt it. So find an emotional reason your action is important to you. Make it personal. I often refer to that as your why. If you can make the action as important as a smoke detector, you'll get it done. The third is perfection. Perfection equals paralysis. If you're a brain surgeon, ignore number three. But if you're not, read on. Many people think their work isn't ready. If you're waiting for perfection, a lot of opportunities will pass you by. The speed of execution and taking time to do it now is almost always the best choice. So how do we stop procrastinating? The answer is have a definite purpose backed by a burning desire, an actionable plan, understanding it won't be perfect, and do what you fear and guess what? The odds are you'll be the entrepreneurial rock star you hope you'll be. Thanks, Bruce. P.S. I've kept a do it now button on my desk for years. It has served me well and is a great reminder to take action as soon as humanly possible. Boy, is that ever true. So when I wrote that more than a year ago, it was true then, even more true now. The, uh, Dan and I have both talked about the fact that we uh, believe, actually know, that there has never been a better time for QLA than there is right now. So I would encourage you to think about this, think about those reasons, fear, burning, uh, lack of a burning desire, and perfectionism, and just do it. And absolutely, you will find that things you do in the beginning, you don't do very well. But like all things, after a while, you'll get very good at them. So uh, whether the beginning for you is to grab the free materials on our websites, both Dan and mine, grab a course, go to the Castle Seminar. If uh, Dan continues to do them and is allowed to by laws over in the UK. But whatever it is, just begin with the tools you have and start. If you don't have the money to do any of those things, there's plenty of free material on my site and on Dad's site. But the important thing is just to begin and do it now. Procrastination truly is the thief of time and opportunities. Okay. So if you have any questions or comments or ideas for future episodes, please email bruce at brucewhipple.com. And if you're not already on our mailing list, head over to brucewhipple.com and sign up and grab any of the free reports. That'll put you on the mailing list. There is a lot of free information you can use to acquire already profitable businesses. 
This is Bruce Whipple. Thanks for listening to the Business Acquisition Podcast. And remember, you miss 100% of the opportunities you fail to take. And procrastination truly is the thief of time. So do something today, please. Your future self will be proud of you.